Hey, this is Asaf Levavi from LickerNerves.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video I'm going to teach you a fingerstyle arrangement I've made especially for beginner fingerstyle students of Linkin Park's Numb. Now, I've based this on the piano instrumental version. So, um, it's in D minor and um, I actually just transcribed the piano arrangement and made a uh, beginner finger style arrangement especially for you. So first let me play it for you and then we're gonna jump right into the lesson. We're gonna break it down lick by lick and with tabs on the screen and by the time this video is over you're gonna know how to play this. So let me demonstrate it first and then we'll learn it. It goes like this. Okay, so you begin with this. Okay, got it? No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's a small lick uh, that turns into D minor. Okay, that's the concept. Um, now, this lick is two on the second fret on the third string, the G string. Okay, an A note, and the first finger on one on the second string, on the first fret of the B string, C note. So, okay, two, one, two. Fret-wise, three, two, three, string-wise. Two on uh, the G string, one on the B string, two on the G string again. Okay, and then you uh, turn this into D minor and you play this. Okay, the D bass, the fourth string, um, with along with three on the B string. Okay, both are D notes. This is an octave. And then you play the first fret of the E string, and then you take the finger off and you play an open E string. Okay, so it's that's the first leg. And then right away, you take this first finger and you put it on B flat, on one on the A string. Okay, so. Okay, now you've got a choice. You can either leave it like this, okay, or you can add the uh, the third finger on three on the D string and make it a B flat five, okay, and just pick it like this, okay, and then you've got a B flat five, and you kind of outline the chord of the B flat. So you can either just pick the bass or make it a, D, a B flat five. One on the A string, three on the D string. So D minor. Open E string. Okay? 
and keep the E string ringing. Okay, don't touch it. When you um, when you put the finger on B flat, make sure you don't touch the E string, so it keeps on ringing. Okay, I just touched it. So. Um, Or just the bass works fine and then this again now you can either bar the first fret so these two notes are still ringing or you can just do this again with two fingers doesn't matter both sound good um, and then this Now these are F and C uh, chords. Now you can either uh, put on a beginner's F, a small F, an open, uh, an open position F, or you can put on the barred F. Both work fine. The only difference means um, that it's either um, a bass F or a treble bass F. Okay. Um, so. Whichever you choose, you can do this, or you can do this, okay? Um, whichever sounds good to you. You can either do the bass, you can either do the uh, less bassier bass. Both are F basses. So, um, now, the line, again, is, the lick is, one and zero on the E string again. This time, instead of along with a D bass, you play it with an F bass. Either F bass, either this or this. Now you can also play the chord. Okay, but um, that kind of negates the whole um, quiet, uh, quiet instrumental version. So I prefer to just pick the bass and add one note afterwards, okay, or between them, or, or, just one note between them, just pick one note out of the chord and play it between the, the F note and the E note, okay, um, in case you, you don't get what I'm saying, um, I play, for example, both F notes, then I play the G string, and then I play an open E string, okay? Okay, the same here. Play the G string between them. That's what I do. You don't have to, you can just do this. Okay, you can just play the bass, and that's it. Then move on to the open E string. It's up to you. Make your own arrangement of this. Try to play what you want to play. Okay, and then... Then it turns into a C chord, but first um, you play the C note. You turn this into a C chord and you do this. Okay, you play one on the B string and then you play the bass. And if you want to play more notes, you just play the rest of the chord. Okay, that's it. Or you can just play the bass. And then it sounds like this. Okay, you can play one more note. You can play two more notes. Okay, but this is too much in my opinion. I like to play just one more note. too much in my opinion. That's what I like to play. Just one more note out of the chord. So together, lick, D minor, um, B flat, lick again, F, C. <clears throat> if you've noticed, I haven't played anything 
uh, other than the F notes. I didn't play anything other than the, uh, the, the melody notes. Now, if you don't want to play more notes inside the F chord, you can do this. Okay, you can use your thumb for the F bass and then you don't have to put any chord on, you just do this. Okay, with one finger and the thumb. It's not cheating. If Jimi Hendrix and Eric Clapton can use their thumb, you can use your thumb too. It's not cheating. Um, people use their other hand to solo all the time using tapping. Some people use their nose. Um, yeah, there are crazy guitar players. So if they can use their nose, you can use your thumb. It's not cheating. It's not wrong technique. It's what you want to play it and what's, uh, what's comfortable for you. So don't let anybody tell you that you're playing wrong. There's no, th there's no such thing as wrong when it comes to music. Um, as long as it sounds good and as long as it's comfortable. If you're doing it for show um, and if it doesn't sound good, for example, if, if it hurts you, to, to, uh, and you and you're not comfortable with this, don't do it. Do this. Okay? But if you're comfortable with this, then just do it. Um, Alright, because if you're comfortable, then it will sound good. End of theory discussion. Now, um, you do the lick again, and you begin here. Now, why do we pick this first? Because it's, it's the end of the lick. Okay, and then we begin the verse. So it's the lick again, two, one, two, on G, B, and G strings. And then the D bass along with seven on the G string. Now, the seven on the G string uh, is picked, is pressed with the third finger because you need to keep it ringing while you use your first finger on five on the E string. Okay? Okay? And you pick it four times. Um, so... And then, second finger uh, on six on the E string. And then, five on the E string again, but this time you prepare for this. Okay? Um, Second finger on six on the E bass, turning this into B flat again. So, okay, and you wanna keep the A note, this is an A note, you wanna keep the A note ringing. And then you pick the bass and you pick the A note again. Okay, so it's seven, five, 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 six, five, bass, five, and then use your pinky, four, eight on the B string, and then use the second finger, um, no, the third finger, for six on the B string. So it's eight, six on the B string with the pinky and the third finger. Um, hopefully, these two notes are still ringing, okay? Uh, you want to leave as many notes ringing as possible. The A note and the B flat bass are still ringing. That's what you aspire for. Um, again. Okay. Don't know if you can hear it, but this note is still faintly ringing in the background. Um, so it's this position. Okay, it's this kind of um, stuffy, crammy um, position. So, um, yeah, you got anything to add? Reverse, he walks in reverse. <laughs> and now he goes to sit on the floor, I think. Anyway, uh, we were here. And then this. Um, I forgot where we were. Oh, right. This. Okay. Um, 
the chords themselves are F and C, but we're only going to use the bass. Now, the, um, the melody itself repeats itself. Um, okay, twice. It's the same melody, both on uh, F and C, so we're just changing the bass notes. Now, um, the most economic way to do it is here. Okay, F is three on the, uh, the D string and C is three on the A string. So uh, we're using this position. Now you begin with pinky on five on the E string, third finger on five on the G string, okay? On the E string and the G string, both five, uh, both fifth, fifth frets fretted, pressed. Fifth frets pressed. Try to say that three times. Fifth fret pressed. Never mind. Anyway, uh, you add your uh, first finger, you bar, you bar because you're gonna need the third fret. You bar uh, the third fret up to, uh, up to the fourth string, up to the D bass, or up to the C bass if you want, but then you're gonna have to stop the F bass from ringing, so you're gonna have to take the bar off for a second anyway. So I just like to do it properly and um, bar up to the, the F bass first and then move it up one string uh, or down one string depending if you look at it musically or physically. I like to say up one string because it's up one string um, and um, take it to C. So it's this. <laughs> Uh, and we don't play the second uh, the second string, so it's it's this. Now you play this. Okay, it's the third uh, the third string on five once, and then the F bass on three. The F bass uh, you pick the D string, of course, along with five on the E string. Okay, so it's and then you take the pinky off and you have three barred so it's three on the E string and then the pinky on six on the B string and then three on the E string again so okay now you can stop uh, the notes from ringing here, you can do this. Okay, you can take the pinky off after after um, after playing the F note, um, six on the B string, and then it won't be this. It will be just, okay, just take the pinky off if you want. And then the same thing with the C bass. Okay, you just bar it, you take the first finger off and bar it again up to the fifth, uh, the fifth string. Okay, on three again. And then it's the same thing. Okay, so it's F, C. And then it's this. So it's five, it's this again. It's five on the E string with your first finger, second finger on the B flat bass, on six on the E bass. You play it uh, five and then the B flat bass. And then you put the third finger or the pinky, whichever one's comfortable for you, on seven on the G string and you play this. And then, okay, and then you take the second finger up two frets to eight, it's C, it's a C bass, and you put your first finger where the pinky or the third finger were on seven on the G string, and you do it again, okay, or together, okay, that's it, so it's So together 
it sounds like this. Um, string and then 10 10 on the E string with the D bass along with the first 10 okay and then 8 on the E string 10 on the B string okay so got it 10 10 10 with the D 8 and then the same thing with the F bass. Now the F bass is at eight on the A string. And uh, you, you just bar it, so. Okay, so you bar it, so the eight is the bar. So you just have to uh, press the 10. And then 11 on the B string. And then this. Okay, so this time it's eight on the E string with your pinky, your first finger on the B flat bass, six on the E bass, and your second finger on seven on the G string. got your third finger free so you just put it on eight on the E string you don't change anything and you continue with seven on G okay so that way both the seven and and hopefully the eight are still ringing okay the eight will ring very faintly but it will be there so okay even if it will fade out by then, it, it will still have been ringing uh, up to a certain point instead of just stopping abruptly, okay? Uh, remember, you want to keep as many notes ringing as possible. Um, so it's this, D, F, okay, this of course, B flat, third finger on C. Now uh, let's play the verse from the top slowly and then we'll learn the chorus. intro and uh, the first line of the verse come around twice. Now the second time uh, you can you can just pick the bass notes the first time and pick the chords the second time. You can do this. Um, okay, first time around just the bass notes. Second time around you play the chords along with them. About. I just added the, the D minor here. OK? 
okay? Because I could. I don't think it sounds um, too good, I just wanted to show you what you can do. Okay, that's the second time. First time, just bass notes. Second time, play something out of the chord. <clears throat> and then, you play the first line. Okay, you don't end on this. Uh, you play this. The C. And then you play the line again. Um, from the top. Okay, without seven on the G string because that was the end of okay this so second time around you just begin again okay and then you play this okay got it hope this is clear now um now we were here um, um Now the chorus, the chorus is very very simple. Now even this, even though this is in D minor, the piano version took the, the chorus and turned the first chord into D, which is very very nice. So it's D major, okay? So it's are the chords. So it's D, B flat, F, C. Um, so um, D, you play the entire chord, all four, uh, four strings, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so it's, and then you play strings two and three again twice more, and then you play this, the position of your first lick, remember, one on the second string, uh, three on, one on the B string, two on the G string, okay, let's not use numbers for both strings and frets, um, just pick this, um, it's D7 for a second, it's this, okay, but it's not really D7, it's a lick upon a D chord. So then you put B flat on, but you don't have to use this finger. So you just put um, the B flat without the five because we're just picking this. We're picking the B bass, the B flat bass on uh, one on the A string, of course. The pinky and the third finger on three on the B and G strings. And then, what's going on here is that you don't even have to bar. You can do this. And you really don't have to bar because you have to not bar it because you have to use an open E string at the end. Okay, so you pick the B flat chord. And then the B and G strings again three times and then an open E string and you want to keep the B flat chord ringing so that's the only option and then F I pick the I pick strings uh, two three four and the E bass on F on one so it's Okay. Again, I leave the, the 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 fifth note of the chord out, and then I take the pinky to three on the B string, and I do this. Okay, I just pick strings B and G again, uh, and it's three 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 one. Okay, I use the pinky three times and then I take it off and it's 
the bar again. It's one, okay, on the B string. And the G string harmonizes it. So, um, got it? And then C. Now it begins as a C add nine. Even though the chord is C, you use the pinky again on three on the B string and you play, okay? Basically the same thing. You play the C bass, the, the, um, the A string, along with strings B, G, and D, meaning that you actually play um, just, you play everything. You play strings two, three, four, and five, okay? Everything except for the E strings. Okay, C add nine, three with the pinky on the B string. One, of course, is fretted because um, because uh, it's it's a C chord, and you want to get it ready for when you take the pinky off. Okay, you can do this. Okay, but why? If you can put everything on in the first place, just put it on. So. So it's again C at nine, and then um, three times the B and G strings, and then you take the pinky off and you play one on the B string, and it was uh, an open G string all the way. And then again. understand why in a second. So it's five times. And then you add uh, the first finger on B flat, six on the E bass. So it was the B flat bass along with 10 on the E string and then you take the pinky back to frets to 8 on the E string and you do okay so it's and then it's um, it's F you bar the eighth fret and you pick the A string along with 10 on the E string and then you take the pinky off and uh, you pick 8 on the, the E string three times and then 10 on the B string with your pinky and then 10 again and then you take the bar uh, up one string to C and the pinky you take to 11 on the B string and you do this. Okay? You play 11 with the C bass and then 10, 8, 10. Okay? 10 with the pinky, 8 is the bar, 10 with the pinky. All on the B string. 11, 10, 8, 10. Then you play 5. The, the final note is five on the E string and then the D bass as the verse begins again. So it's... Um, okay, got it? Um, so again, D... Um, okay, B flat. C. 
then you begin again with D. Okay, so um, that's the finger cell arrangement of num. I really hope you enjoyed this. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons already and um, all I ask in return is for you to subscribe and share these lessons. Let other people know that these lessons exist online for free for everyone to learn guitar. My goal is to teach everybody how to play guitar and um, as many people as I possibly can. Um, I'll continue making these lessons, of course, they're all for free, um, and I take requests, and um, of course, go to the website, you can download the tab, also for free, and there's a donation button on the website, so if you want to give something back for these lessons, and also help me create more lessons, and free up more time to make them, and edit them, and upload them, um, then I'd be very, very grateful for any donation you choose to make. Everything, of course, comes back to Lickenworth. Um, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Now, go get this under your fingers. Practice this. Have fun with this one. Um, it's a great song. And um, have fun. Let me know how it goes. Thank you very much for watching.